Hi there, and welcome to a new tutorial in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, as I say to you here, we will make a tappet. A tappet just to like a push button to, to the cam. The cam push the tappet and the tappet push the, the valve and we have a translation of the valve uh, through the guide, the valve, the valve guide. Okay, mm, let's start by XY, XY plan. I got to sketch. Mm, here we start by as I as I did earlier, this one like next, and start from it. From here, we will start. Our sketch we have 13.5 here mm, stop here we have to add here uh, 20 then just leave it return to here 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 mm, and here we have to return and close your sketch now add 20 here then you have to make it horizontal between this point and this point and we have 2 millimeter here 5 here from here to the center we have 1.5 from here we have 3 mm, from from here to here we have 12.5 now you have to add the chamfer with 3 chamfer with 3 between these and this click OK and you have finished your uh, tutorial mm, not tutorial mm, your part click revolve select this like next click OK if you want to add uh, st stainless steel and save your file again the name is tap it 0.1 click OK then uh, another part this part is so easy to make as I did it in the in one tutorial this one is the what's the name of it seat ring start from here make 1.4 if I if I remember yes 1.4 here and here we have one millimeter and close close the profile and add 0 0.5 here and mangle here with 135 uh, you have to add nux here and uh, dimension from here to here we have 13.5 and add the relation between this point and this point then your sketch is fully defined.
make a revo revoked feature select this X and click OK uh, if you want to add iron iron cast iron ductile I don't know what's the name exactly then save your file like uh, seat ring 01 okay now we have to add um, to make small assembly between uh, the valve and the and the tappet i will close this mm, start new assembly create then go to place place the tappet tappet 0.1 then place the valve place it here then go to constraint between this and this one click apply and between this and this one okay save your file like uh, assembly valve 0.1 okay uh, here uh, in the next tutorial because the next tutorial will have many constraints to make then uh, I have to leave this in the next episode um, thank you for all subscribers and if you like just type a like in the in the below of the video if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in comment or if you have any suggestion I I like suggestion okay thank you for watching and see you again <laughs>